I don't have any eggnog, so down the hatch. Those weren't fish eggs, so I'm not worried about salmonella. I hope we don't have any egg on my face. That'd be a rocky start to the video. How's it going everyone? Today's October 14th, and as you can now see on the whiteboard, today we're celebrating two holidays. First up, I hope you're not too chicken to celebrate World Egg Day. Or if you are chicken, I hope you can come out of your shell so we can celebrate. I found the best way to get someone out of their shell is with a philosophical discussion. So today we're going to examine the age-old question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? When I say this is an age-old question, I mean it dates back thousands of years, sometime to around the year 400 BC, where it's discussed by eggheads like Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates. Fun fact, the term egghead can be used to describe someone who is very smart or very stupid, as well as someone who has an oddly shaped head. As it turns out, Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates were all morons because the answer is pretty obvious. The egg came before the chicken. By several million years. Long before chickens ever existed, we had things like fish, dinosaurs, and turtles laying eggs. Speaking of turtles, how cool is it that turtles always have a shell protecting them? Starting when they're still forming in the egg and they have their egg shell around them, till all shell breaks loose and they hatch and they still have their turtle shell. I don't have a joke about that. I just think turtles are cool. I like turtles. But let's get back to the topic at hand. Let's have a quick exam. Which is healthier for you, white or brown eggs? Actually, there's no nutritional difference between the two. The only thing different between white eggs and brown eggs is the hen that laid them. White eggs are laid by chickens with white feathers, and brown eggs are laid by chickens with red feathers. And then we come to chocolate eggs, which do have a significant nutritional difference. If you take a look inside one of these, you'll find a small toy. This proves that chocolate eggs are laid by bigger toys and not by a magical rabbit. Let's lay these eggs to rest and move on to our second holiday. I scream, you scream, we all scream for National Dessert Day. World Egg Day was excellent, but National Dessert Day is the icing on the cake. I love this holiday because it's so easy to celebrate since most celebrations already involve some sort of dessert. And the king of all celebration desserts is the cake. Is it your birthday? Spit all over a cake while you try to extinguish the flames so they don't melt the candles all over your food. Are you having a wedding? Buy a crazy expensive cake and then leave part of it in your freezer until the freezer burn tastes worse than the fondant. Are you dead? Then there will probably be a cake at your funeral. And that cake will probably have a picture of you on it. And people are probably going to be really uncomfortable about eating you. What I'm saying is, since celebrations and cake go so hand in hand with each other, celebrating National Dessert Day is easy. You might even say that it's a piece of cake. Or that it's easy as pie. Or as easy as taking candy from a baby. Speaking of pie and candy, let's talk about some other desserts. There's so many to talk about, I feel like a kid in a candy store. I just don't know which ones to put in. I just do not want to forget any of them, but I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. In addition to all those ones I subtly mentioned just now, other popular desserts include ice cream, custard, and, if you're boring, fruit. And all those are fine, but if you want to acknowledge World Egg Day and National Dessert Day at the same time, I suggest an egg tart. Leave a comment down below about your favorite dessert or your favorite egg recipe, and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching, I'm Elijah King saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, or you'll get your just desserts.